What is up, Elevate family? How are y'all doing today? I'm so happy to see y'all here. My name is Minister Matt. Well, you know that already. I'm so happy that you decided to join me this morning for another time together here for Elevate Team Ministry Service broadcast, teaching, whatever you want to call it. I'm just happy that you're here. I'm excited that you are about to hear a word from God, uh, and I'm just happy to share it with you today, all right? So let's get right to it. I believe that this is going to bless you. I believe that this word is going to help you, especially in this time specifically. So right here, we are going to be speaking about something real simple. It's called Seasons. All right. It's called seasons. So growing up in school, you learn that there are certain seasons that we experience in a year's cycle. Right. On this earth, the 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 I believe it's the earth that tilts on its axis and it begins to change and rotate. And we get all especially in Jersey. Right. In Jersey, we get all the four seasons. There are some places like, you know, Florida and all these, you know, uh, desert type places and really hot places that don't really get a winter and don't really get a true spring or a true fall. It's always summer, right? But in Jersey, we have the blessing really of seeing all four seasons. And today I want you to realize something. I want you to realize that every season has a purpose. All right. Every season has a purpose. And you know what? We all have our favorite seasons. We all have our favorites. Some of us like winter, some of us like summer, some of us like fall, some of us like spring. Whatever your favorite is, you have to admit that each season has a blessing in it. Each season has something awesome about it. So real quick, let's go through our four seasons. First of all, we have winter. Now I know, I know, I know we don't like shoveling. When you get a certain age, your 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 parents, whoever you live with, has you to start shoveling and they have you start cleaning off their cars and stuff. I get it, I get it, I get it. But still there are beautiful things about winter. My favorite thing about winter are the snowball fights. They're the snowball fights. It's the hot chocolate coming in after a real cold day. And my actual, you know, I, if I'm if I'm being really honest, my real favorite are the snow days. And I know those are your favorite too, the snow days. If it snows real, real bad and you go into school, sometimes they will cancel school altogether and say, don't even come here. And that's my favorite call to get. Anyway, so winter has its good sides too. There's a blessing and there's a purpose even in winter. Then there is the spring, man. Spring is a beautiful, but also sometimes a torturing season for those of us with allergies. You know, I, I yeah, I, I need a zero tech every day when it comes to spring because I'm always sneezing, I'm always sniffling, and it ain't the Rona, it's just my allergies. Okay. So when the spring starts coming around, you see all these flowers start growing and blossoming, and you see bees buzzing, and you see more animals coming out. You see the bugs start coming out after the winter is over. It's really a beautiful season, and then you see the rain coming down because without rain, there can be no beauty. Without rain, ooh, that'll preach right there, wouldn't it? Without rain, there would be no beauty. Without rain, there would be no growth and development. So can I pause here and tell one of my teens today that it might be raining in your life right now, but it's setting you up for beauty that's coming later on. I don't know who needs to hear that today, but I don't, I, listen, it might be raining in your life. It might be storming in your life. It might be cloudy in your life, but it's the rain that's going to bring forth growth. It's the rain that's going to bring forth the new thing in your life. There's a blessing in springtime. And even though it might be rainy, even though it might be uncomfortable, there's growth happening. And there is, and there is, and there's life being birthed in that particular season. So that's why spring is so important. That's why spring is so special because every season has a what? Yeah. Every season has a purpose. Every season has a what? Yeah, it has a purpose. Every season has a purpose. Every season is important. So winter, we get the snow days and we get the hot chocolate and all that stuff. Spring, we get the growth and the life and the rain. But then we have the summer. 
Now listen, as an educator, as someone who works in a school district throughout uh, from September to June, sometimes going into July and August, I love the summer. I love those times where I get to sit back, put my feet up, watch movies, turn on the air conditioner, go outside, jump in the pool, go to the beach, take trips, go on vacations, all that stuff. Summer is amazing. Summer is the season of fun. Summer is the season to get all your, as I say to my little ones, get all your sillies out, right? <laughs> it's that season where you're able to blow off some steam and get rid of some stress, right? It's that time to reboot and to relax and to get ready for what's to come. So summer is a beautiful season where it gets hot outside and you get to open up that pool and you get to take trips to Six Flags and, and all that fun stuff, right? Summer is a season of fun, of life, of enjoyment. But then summer is also the season of a lot of danger where there are people out here, teens out here, adults out here who get out and they get out in the sun and they get out and do all this other stuff. Then we have all these crashes and we have violence and we have these big concerts and parties where violence breaks out. So yes, there are bad aspects of summer, but there's still a purpose in the summer. Summer's purpose is for us to relax and chill and recalibrate and reboot and restart for what is to come in the next season. And, and the next season that we have here, yes, is fall. It's the season of fall. As our apostle said last week, uh, the week before last, we are shifting seasons. We're in a new season. This past week was the first day of fall. It was the first day of fall where we celebrated and you saw kids all over our building in my school making pictures of, of leaves and of leaves falling from trees and, and pumpkins and pumpkin spice and all that other stuff you get from Starbucks and Dunkin' Donuts, right? All this pumpkin stuff is starting to come out because it is the fall. But while summer is the season of fun, fall is the season of focus. Did you hear what I just said? Summer is the season of fun and life and enjoyment and relaxation and all that stuff. But fall is the season of focus. The biggest reason why fall is the season of focus is because of this right here, back to school. I know, I know, I know. Right now you're rolling your eyes and groaning and sucking your teeth. I understand. I understand. You don't want to be in school after such a great summer, but guess what, y'all? It is what it is. The season has changed, and now you can either get stuck in summer and fail your classes, or you can embrace this new season and do the best that you can. And let me encourage y'all today. This season is a season of not just focus, but it is a season of triumph. It's a season of victory. It's a season of not just passing, but excelling. And you know what? As young people of God, as teens that live for God, we have to always remember that even in school, at work, wherever we are, whatever we're doing, we are representing God and everything that he allows us to do, whether it's school, work, church, all of it is to help to make us who he called us to be. Did you hear what I just said? So this is the time for us to focus. I know you had fun in the summer, but it's time to let summer go. I know you had a lot of good moments and you went on vacations and you did all that stuff. Some of y'all were still quarantined, so you binged some Netflix movies and shows and all that stuff, but now it's time to turn Netflix down. It's time to put that stuff away and it's time to get into fall focus. And I believe today that if you allow yourself to focus in this new season, you will find victory in this new season. And you'll surprise yourself based on how good you do and how well you do in your classes. Now is the time of focus. You got it? Now is the time of focus. There's a scripture, right? In Ecclesiastes 3, verse 1. And this is how we're going to end it right here. Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 1 in the easy to read version. Because let me just pause here and tell you, you can actually read other versions of the Bible, right? So we have this King James where thou and thee and thus and on the third day thee and thou. No, 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 no. Right now we have all these different versions. So if you're saying, Minister Matt, it's kind of hard to read the Bible because I I don't understand what they're saying. There are other versions here, like easy to read, NIV, NLT, Message Bible. If you need help finding your version, 
Hit me up, call me, text me, email me, inbox me, inbox the church at latinforwardchurchinfo at gmail.com and we'll help you and we'll, and we'll, we'll lead you in the right direction because I want you to read the Bible. I want you to know this word for yourself, right? So in the easy to read version of Ecclesiastes 3 verse 1, it says this, there is a right time for everything and everything on earth will happen at the right time. Can I say it again? There is a right time for everything and everything on earth will happen at the right time. Can I tell you something? Fall is the right time for you to succeed. Fall is the right time for you to focus and learn and grow. Now is the right time. There is a time for fun. There is a time for relaxation. That was in the summer. There is a time for fooling around and going crazy and acting wild. That was in the summer. But now it's time. Right now is the time for us to focus and to learn and to grow. And I promise you, I promise you, I promise you, you will not regret time focusing to become better and to become greater at who it is God made you to be. You know what I'm saying today? I want you to fall into focus. Woo! I want you to fall into focus. Man, I'm teaching this to myself. Fall into focus. It's time to fall like these leaves, right? Fall like these leaves off the trees and fall, boom, right into a place of focus because that's how you'll find victory. You got it? So today, what I want you to walk away with is now is the right time. Fall is here. A new season has come and it's your time to fall in to focus in this new season. You got it? I hope you learned something today. I hope you got something out of this lesson today. That's all I have for you. But I believe that if you listen to it over and over again, if you took notes, if you read the scripture, if you paid attention, I know that you will be blessed by what God said to us today. That even in this new season, it's a good time to focus and to grow and to learn. And guess what, y'all? You got this. I can't wait to see you make the honor roll. I can't wait to see your A's. I can't wait to see your college acceptance letters. I can't wait. Send them all to us. If nobody else celebrates you, I know your parents will. I know your family will. But if nobody else does, send it to us. We'll celebrate you. We're going to show up with some balloons and 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 a big poster board with your face on it. <laughs> I'm just serious. And, and so <laughs> I, 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 we want to celebrate you and your accomplishments. So throughout this whole year, whether it's you making the principles list, whether you made honor roll, whether you got an A on that hard math test, send us a picture, send us a message, send us a note that says, yo, I passed this. I am so proud of myself. And we're going to come back and tell you how proud of you we we are. So again, you can do this. You got this. Fall into focus and know that God will bless you every step of the way. You got it? All right, y'all. I love you so much. Lad of glory loves you. And guess what? We come into church today. I hope you're getting ready. I hope you're watching this while you're putting your clothes on, getting ready to come to church. Make sure you registered. Make sure you are ready. Come as you are. Come in your jeans and your t-shirt. We don't care. Come and let's celebrate God together. I can't wait to see you. I can't wait to meet you in person. And I'm looking forward to all of your success. All right. I love you. God loves you. Light of glory loves you. And there's nothing you can do but love us back. All right. Have a great day. See y'all soon.